Hello and welcome back to another Tea with Lee. I am drinking some very strong coffee today because my son got his four month shots and was up all night, very cranky and uncomfortable. He had a slight fever, but he's doing better now and he's playing with his teddy bear just off screen and giving me the cutest little smiles. So you might hear some of his lovely screaming, which I will try to edit out if I can, but just a heads up. So I wanted to share with you guys my Traveler Notebook updates. I have my two Traveler Notebooks here. This is my cloth and paper, and this is just one I got off Amazon. I think it's from Wanderings, starting with my cloth and paper one. If you've been watching my videos, I have been using this for my garden journal, but I've changed it up. <laughs> I was feeling a little too spread out with my garden journal. I had, you know, these four different notebooks for different things, and it, it just made me think that when I go to look back on this, it might be a little hard to decipher all the information because it's being so spread out. So I have switched this over from being a garden journal to just a scribble journal is what I like to call it. So I have in the monthly, instead of tracking what's going on in the journal, like I did in July, I'm now tracking my YouTube video ideas and my upload schedule. One of my goals for the month of August is to be really on top of making videos and I want to make sure that I have a good buffer of videos so that way when I start school I won't run into any gaps like I did last two weeks ago because it just doesn't feel good when you can't put a video out but school baby come first and sometimes can be hard but I'm hoping if I get really on top of it during my free time I won't have that issue. I am also using the list notebook for my grocery list. I had been just scribbling at my grocery list on random bits of paper and I don't really like that. I like having it a bit more contained and nice to pull out at the grocery store. So I've gone ahead and started using the list one for that. I haven't really found too much to do with the executive notebook yet so this one might just be another like quick scribble journal session kind of thing to be determined but the dot grid in the back i am using this to do some budgeting stuff and just some little jot down notes type things so you can see i am working through my august budget here i've got quite a few dental bills and post-pregnancy bills and I'm also trying to keep track of some of my spending. So I'm saving my receipts. I need to go and fill this out. This is just kind of like my, my mom planner, I want to call it. It's my household to-do list, jot it down really quick, don't be too fancy journal. And the reason for that is because this is so small and like easy to bring around with me that it's the perfect size to keep in my purse and just pull it out, use it, put it away you did, you done, you're back at the mall. So that being said, I am focusing more of my long-term stuff into the Big Traveler's Notebook. So in this one, there have been some updates. First off, this is a notebook from Sarika Studio. It is gorgeous. I just got the plain one because this is going to be my reading journal very soon. I'm waiting on some stickers to come in the mail so I can decorate this, but once it does, we'll have a whole video of setting up my reading journal, so stay tuned for that. Then I have my journal journal, so this is just my writing journal where I'm putting down my thoughts, things that went on during the day, and then just having a lot of fun with collaging. Another thing that happened was I got a printer and I got some sticker paper, which isn't turning out the way I wanted. I got some pre-cut labels, but they turned out to be kind of big and that's really hard to line the photos up on my computer. So I ended up just having to cut them out anyway, but that's something I'm still experimenting with. Otherwise, it's been really nice having this place to jot down quick memories and notes and play around with some of the different aesthetic stickers and scraps that I have. Next, very exciting, is the new garden journal. And I actually made this 100% myself at home. 
I designed this cover on Canva and I printed it out on some, well, I want it to be cardstock. It's actually brown regular printer paper glued to cardstock because I didn't have any cardstock, but now I do. So now all future journals will be a little bit cleaner. But I printed out, I also printed out my own a, a grid. Once again, I went into Canva and I played around with the grid. I did some test prints until it came out to a size that I really like. And I made it a light gray instead of black so that it's a little bit easier on the eyes and it won't stand out too much as I'm writing. So I have been playing in this and I transferred over all of my garden notes. This I'm going to turn into a monthly overview of my planting. So I'm going to go through, put all the months, and I'm going to write down what was growing during what times and when I harvested it. So this is going to be a really nice yearly overview kind of thing. And then I went through and just copied all the months of my notes from my old cloth and paper into this one. And I also put in the weather, what it was like, because I think that's going to be very important for next year. We get really bad fog in the spring and it kind of hindered a lot of my planting. So the fog was all through like April and May, I feel like. And then in June, it started clearing up towards the second half. And now in July, it is sunny, sunny, sunny. And I've got the rest of the year all lined up and ready to go. Then I just pulled out those progress picks from my last notebook, put them in here, and I also put what is growing in each one, so I've got a bit of a better track of everything, which, okay, just look at the difference on my green beans. I got so many green beans. I got, like, two cups, which, like, isn't, you know, nothing to go to the farmer's market with, but it made a delicious dinner, and I was very proud of it. And my zinnias are blooming again. This is the second bloom that the plants have put off. I think the orange one is probably my favorite. Like how just like fluffy and beautiful they are. I also got some jalapenos off my plant. Once again, nothing crazy, but for a little patio garden, it's not too bad. And I've got like four or five more out there, which I'm kind of waiting until they get red because I want to try red jalapenos. Next, I have a list of everything that I've harvested, which there is more I need to add on, like these zinnias. Oh, hello spider. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb your house. And then I'm just doing really quick and dirty notes on here, which I do actually need to add in my note for today. I'm at war in my garden, okay? When I was out there, a couple days ago, I saw a black widow. I was watering and the water, I guess, like touched its web and it, it scurried out and I saw the red hourglass on its belly and I freaked. I was holding my son as I was like watering and I just did a 360 nope back into the house and I went to go get a bottle of spray bleach and when it came out, it was gone. I tried to spray its web again, but it didn't come out. And so I destroyed the web. And then when I went out today, I saw it had rebuilt it. The black widow web is really like, it's not like one of those circular webs that you see. It's very all over the place and very delicate. It wasn't thick. Like some spiders have really thick webs. Anyway, I was out there and I was ready. <laughs> I sprayed the hose and it came out of our umbrella, which, oh, I don't even want to think about opening it and having a black widow fall on me. But we don't use that umbrella on that side of the yard very often, thank goodness, which is probably why there's black widow in it. But so it came out and I grabbed the bleach and I sprayed it a couple times and it crawled back up. I destroyed its web again and I destroyed all the other webs around the umbrella that I saw just in case. So we'll see if that bleach killed it. I really hope it does because... I'm terrified. I'm like, I'm like scared to go out in my garden, which is sad because my garden is such a place of joy for me. And now it's a place of fear and I hate that. <laughs> so I'm going to keep checking if it rebuilt its web and then I'll do the same thing. I'll try to lure it out with the hose and then spray it with the bleach and just hopefully kill it. I don't want to try to go after it and like squish it 
because then I'm just getting closer and I'm opening myself up to get bit. But chemical warfare is the way we're going to attack this. That's my current struggle, which I'll keep you guys posted on if I win the battle of the Black Widow or not. But safe to say I'm sticking clear of that corner of the garden. And in the rest of this journal, I want to do some plant profiles. So I want to write down the different species that I'm growing and how they're doing, what I think of like the harvest and stuff like that. So I can start taking notes of what varieties I like. Like for instance, the pole beans that I grew, I'm pretty sure they're Kentucky pole beans. Delicious. It did super well in my garden and I want to have a whole green stock just full of green beans now. So that kind of stuff I want to start slowly adding. I would love to get into botanical illustration too, but I'm not the best drawer and that's something I kind of want to work on. But if anything, I might just print out some botanical illustrations and stick them in here to make it pretty. But for my first time at making a notebook, I'm really happy with how this turned out. And this is opening up a whole world of possibilities for other notebooks I could make with my own personalized covers. So stick out for more of my homemade notebooks I'm going to do in the future. And yeah, the possibility is endless. So that's what's been going on in my large traveler's notebook. But I'm so excited for when my book stickers come in because I've been very on my reading game recently. It's been a lot of fun. Currently, I am reading When the Moon Hatched. I saw this all over Bookstagram, and the artwork alone, like, captured my attention. And I'm actually doing a buddy read with my sister-in-law, so it's been fun. We've been texting each other back and forth about our thoughts and what's going on in the book. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm about 12% of the way through. And I did just finish the Gods and Monsters book that's part of the... Serpent and Dove series, and I did enjoy it, but I do have thoughts. So if you guys want to see me do potentially like a book review video when I fill out the journal entry for that, let me know and I can do a chatty little thoughts on that story. But otherwise, that is what's been going on in my traveler's notebook and my stationary life at the moment. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any Black Widow killing tips in the comment section below because this is war. <laughs> I will not let the spider win. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye!